Hello, today I want to talk to you about three-dimensional video. Um, what you need for three-dimensional video is a camera and a way to watch the video. Now on the, on the watching part, YouTube now has a fantastic new feature and it can play back 3D videos. That has actually been done from an employee who did this in his 20% spare time. You, uh, Google gives every one of their programmers 20% of their paid time to do stuff on their own. And uh, Pete, uh, I don't know his last name, has decided to do a 3D playback system for YouTube. Thanks Pete for giving us small video producers a chance to do stereoscopic stuff. So you can watch it on YouTube, but you need to generate it first. Therefore I've built a camera. It's this camera, it's a three-dimensional high-definition camera that are made from JVC high-definition ABC HD cameras. So these record high-def. And um, it looks like a slingshot, but that's not intentional, it's just logical. So when, you, when I switch these on, one, two, both would give me basically the same thing that they record, but they do this from an angle, like the left and right eye. Now you record to the left and to the right camera in high definition. In editing, I use my Casablanca editing system and load the two streams in and use new non-released operators that create a 3D side-by-side -side video where the stuff from the left camera is at the left side and from the right camera is on the right side and creates a squeezed um, video that contains both streams and uh, YouTube actually decodes this and uh, you can have a choice of how you decode this um, you need glasses for it and you need to set the YouTube player to the type of glasses that you own. Let me show you a few of these glasses. We start with the cheapest cardboard glasses. Uh, those are available in different types. You can get them in, in green and red and green and magenta and I think even cyan and yellow. So you can put them on and then the left eye only sees the stuff that is green and the right eye sees the stuff on this magenta glasses that is uh, that is blue and red. So this way you can differentiate. It's not perfect though because the brightness information cannot be masked with this. So pure white will be seen by both of these. So it's a little tiring and it's not perfect. There is a luxury version of that. This looks like cheap sunglasses but it's basically doing the same thing. Green and magenta. You can also get them in green and red. Now, of course, much better is a thing like this. So this is a Zeiss Zeiss um, 3D setup. It uh, works with your iPhone and iPod, but it also works uh, with standard video sources like a DVD player and so on. And what this is, is these are basically two small LCD monitors. And so this is, of course, really perfect because you can only see what happens on the left camera, on the left eye, and the same is true for the right camera, which you only see on your right eye. So this really is a perfect way to see this. Modern, brand new television systems, like the high def systems, have um, other glasses, not as cool looking as this one. <laughs> they use shutter glasses. So um, shutter glasses need electronic for it, and new Sony and I think Panasonic and Samsung LCD high definition TVs have the logic to use the shutter glasses even uh, with no cables attached. Um, that's not available on YouTube currently, I think. So in the text you will find some explanation and some link to my first 3D video done with this camera and you can watch this on YouTube. So um, find the link in the text description and uh, enjoy the 3D stuff. That's it. Thanks guys. Bye bye.